Hey, travelers! Another week, another vlog, and I brought in the resident Goza expert. Right? Are you the resident Goza expert? No? Sure. You're at a loss for words. <laughs> <laughs> it Goza. It go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we're going to have uh, those beers tonight, and we've got a fine selection from mm -hmm. Artifact and... Um, Urban Artifact, actually, and, and Dangerous Man. Dangerous Man. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Dangerous Man. So we're still at the end of April, but our favorite holiday, Nerd Holiday, is coming up. May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. And Dangerous Man um, came up with a new beer this year. And it's pretty. It is pretty. It's They made blue milk. It's blue. So um, It's very blue. Actually, they're they're having a May the Fourth party, and anybody can go. You just need to buy tickets, so uh, you can get your tickets now. So if you go and visit their Facebook page or whatever, you can you can uh, grab tickets to that. So if you're going to be in the Twin Cities on May the Fourth, which happens to be a Saturday this year, so that makes it even better. Yes, you can go have blue milk. Um, the great thing is. They turn their their brewery into kind of a cantina. So from Star Wars, if if you're a Star Wars nerd like the rest of us, they actually get. And I've seen pictures. Oh yes. I unfortunately have never because I'm a dad and I'm married. I have never <laughs> been over there for May the Fourth yet. Excuses, it, it, excuses. Yeah, it will happen one of these years, or I'll die first. I'll probably die first. <laughs> anyway, um, so you can go over there. And they they have a, a bunch of people dressed up in costume, and I mean these costumes. They are these dressed up are, like real. They've spent a lot of money on these costumes. Mm -hmm. So if and you can participate too. So if you have a, a Star Wars costume, yeah, definitely go over there and do that. The great thing this year, they're donating two dollars from every ticket and a dollar from every crowler of blue milk to a Geek Partnership Society Space Camp scholarship. So for the nerds out there that want to go to space camp. And I'm a nerd too. I'm not using it as a derogative term. They uh, they're gonna donate some money to uh, Space Camp, so it's it's a great deal. It's awesome. Yeah, and you get to drink blue milk and see a bunch of really really cool Star Wars costumes, and probably hear the song from the Cantina and Space and Star Wars from over and over and over dun, and dun, over dun, and over. Dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. You don't even have to wait for Galaxy's Edge at Disney now. Yeah. You can just go over to Dangerous Man. And by the way, we are not getting paid to to um, promote this at all. So it's just a neat thing. It's just also my favorite brewery. So Yeah, which kind of leads us into <laughs> all of the crawlers that you bought. And by the way, Beth wanted to open three crawlers tonight. That's not going to happen. And I was told no, and it made me kind of sad. But because as all at of least you, one. As all of you know, you can't really reseal a crawler. And I'm not sure what you're going to put the re you know the rest of the beer in. In my it's, belly. It's not like you can just put it in. In my belly. It's not like you can just put it in a Tupperware. Well, I drink it. Yeah. Well, that's that means everybody here is going to have to drink a crowler apiece. It's two pints. Just two pints. We went on a beer tour today. We did. So, which leads us into Hot Passport briefly. So we actually went to the Liney Lodge and used which, ours. Happens to be in your hot passport where you get uh, two for one wristbands at the Liney Lodge. Yeah, not a pint, a whole wristband. I would recommend going after the June. When are they? When is their bar going to be done? The end they're, of they're June. Getting, she said getting, the end of June. They're by getting then. a new bar in their Liney Lodge. They're uh, building a new it's bar. Still, yeah, it's still a very, very cool place. And you know, if, if you're into Liney Kugels, you can get uh, merchandise and all kinds of stuff there, and of course, sample the beer. Um. But yeah, so that's in the hot passport, and I would go after June because they're going to have a really, really cool bar there. It was almost it's three times the size. It looked massive. Yeah, it was the whole side. The almost the whole one side. So, yeah, kind of neat. So we did that today, and uh, and their beer on tap is much so better than in the bottles. Much better, and not that it's bad in the bottles. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying on tap is delicious. Do they have enough beers to fill that many taps? Yes. Yeah, I guess. You can even make all of the shandies. Put all of the shandies on the tap. The orange and the grapefruits and the, and the raspberries. Berry. I don't know. Whatever whatever they're making nowadays. Watermelons and 
what have you. I don't know. They could have just just all I will, shandies I will, on one I side. I will be honest with you. Summer shandy, I can have one of them a, a year, and that's that's about my limit. The rest of them, I'm not very fond of. Fruity pebbles. And yeah, sunset wheat. I can have maybe one of those. The one beer that I was fond of because I'm I'm a simple guy. I like the red lager, and they no longer make it. So yeah. I'm kind well, of a sad panda about well, that. The, I think it's it might still be in the sampler, one of the sampler it's packs. It's in one of the samplers, but you have to buy the whole sampler pack to well, get it. Well, that's the so, problem. Yeah. But that grapefruit shandy was actually pretty good today. Yeah, and to be honest with you, for, for those, that's a place that I would recommend if you're trying to get people to try something other than Bud Light and Budweiser. Yes. I would bring them there or have them try a, a Lion and Kugel's beer. Yes. It's similar, but less offensive than a Bud Light. So, anyway. I want to drink some beer. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Must Didn't get enough earlier in the day, huh? Nice. Okay, so this is Dangerous Man's, and what's this one called again? Cara Cara. Cara Cara. Cara Cara. Cara Cara. And it's a what kind of goza? Honey. Honey goza. And it's very clear. Ooh. And you you poured without spilling much. Good job. Yes, put it put it in the big glass. Cause that's the big can. So we can kind of talk about the, the color on this. It is almost the color of a Coors light. Very uh pale yellow. Almost almost translucent, you know. You can see the see right through it. It's 5.5 for the ABV. Oh, geez, that's really low for this show. Oh, smells delicious. It smells really good. And it smells like a goza wood. Just nice and light. Salty, brainy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a goza. Yep. But good. And not, I don't know that I really, I mean, I kind of get the honey. I mean, honey's not very a very pronounced flavor in a lot of things anyway. But it's almost... Like champagne-y. It reminds me of Berliner Weiss. What is the difference between a Berliner Weiss and a Goza? You know the guy that would know that? that could Troy. I could make something up right now, but it, it would probably be wrong, and, and I would fully expect people to that watch this show to call me out on it. Yeah. Well, maybe they could comment <clears throat> so that we know, because I I have no idea. Gozas, I know, are briny, and they, they're the saltier type of beer. The good thing is Berliner and Goza, both German style beers. So, it's a good thing. Yeah, it is a good thing. Mm. You'll notice we don't have a lot of Italian beers on here. Yeah, I just thought I'd take a little jab at you. Not a lot of, not probably going to drink a lot of Peronis. <sighs> yeah, just saying. We're wine people anyway. Yeah, you sure are. You wine a lot. Anyway, <laughs> goes good with food. Though. Goes good with food. It does. Yes, thank you, Alex. Dynamite drop in, Monty. Thank you, Alex, for sticking up for me. This is good though. But, but so does beer. It's a very drinkable. Yeah, it's a very sessionable uh, beer. Do not taste a lot of honey, though. To be honest, for, uh, and and that doesn't make it bad. It's no, just, but for dangerous man, I usually feel like when it says, like it literally says on the side, contains honey. Yeah. That I would taste more of it, but it's probably more for an allergen thing. Do you know anybody that's allergic to honey? Bees. Be- so if they're allergic to, to bees, does that mean they're allergic to honey? Could be. Anyway, uh, the next <laughs> Alex beer check. is from Urban Artifacts. So this is still from Eric's stash that he sent us. We actually ended up getting some more Urban Artifact beer from. Alex's uncle that brought it all the way back from Ohio for Woo-hoo. us. But this actually is a uh, tart cherry goza. Did you read the stuff on the side? Did I read the stuff on the side? That's pretty cool. This goza is brewed with 1,500 pounds of tart cherries, 11 pounds of sea salt, and that's where the saltiness comes in, yes? Mm-hmm. A pound of coriander and 60 grams of vanilla beans. How much is 60 grams? I don't know. Per 30 barrel batch. Yes. 11? And then, and then it goes on. Because this, this beer is called Chariot. Chariot. It goes, it goes on to talk about how chariots were used in Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. Armies, taxis, farm equipment. Artifact. 
The yeah. facts. The facts. That's artifacts. pretty. That's pretty. Sounds pretty good. Eleven pounds of sea salt, huh? It's a lot of salt. Wow. That's clear. Also, that's yeah. not pink like yeah. I was thinking it was going to be. Oh, a little hue. But I bet you anything that not only on the nose but Compared also on the salt. taste, this guy is going to be full of cherries. Look at. Yeah, I mean you can tell it's cherry. Yeah, it's it's a darker. Ooh, smells good. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Oh yeah, that's good. You know, you know, I don't know that. When I think tart cherries, I think of like the really super tart cherry. This is more like cher- pie cherries, but not sweet. No, but, but you get that cherry that little cherry that little uh, mouth feel of and mouth taste of of cherry pie. pie filling. You know, wow, that's really good. I like that. Well, it only took 1,500 pounds of cherries. Wow. Yeah. That's good stuff. That's really good. <clears throat> Studies have shown that if you're allergic to bee venom, you are more likely to be allergic to honey. Aha. Uh-huh. Thank you, Alex. <clears throat> yes, thank you, Alex. So that is good to know. Bee venom. I thank like you, that. Dangerous Man, for thank you, Dangerous Man, for putting that on the can. So those that are allergic to bee venom. <laughs> May know that. Bee venom. Yeah, bee venom. You can also just be allergic to honey. It's like a food allergy. Well, yeah. You can be allergic to anything nowadays, apparently. I don't know how people are allergic to meat, though. Can you be know. allergic to meat? I'm allergic to the color salmon. Yes. Mm. It's a good color to be allergic to. I also am this allergic is, to the color salmon. I would drink this all the time. Yeah. Smooth and just it's very good. This last one I actually stole from you. Uh, it was one of the two beers that you had in there that were for you. Sorry. At least I get to try it. Yeah, you're you're helping out though. So you're donating for the cause mm. and we appreciate that. You're welcome. Oh, that was good. That's a good beer. So this is another urban artifact beer. This is oh, uh, yeah. the one that <laughs> Alex's uncle brought back from Ohio. So this one is called Slider Rule. This happens to be a chocolate raspberry goes. So chocolate really isn't something that you normally see in a goza anyway. You see a lot of fruits. Raspberries, yes. Chocolate, not so much. I, yeah, you can have the rest of the can. You, I mean, you can read the, read off the can if you want what it's got in it because it's got a lot of stuff. 750 pounds of raspberries, 150 pounds of cacao nibs, 10 pounds of sea salt, one pound of coriander, and 30 grams of vanilla beans. So the last few ingredients are pretty consistent with all of their mm-hmm. other gozas. Must- 10 pounds of sea salt. That's a lot of raspberries, though. When you think about 750 pounds, that's... This beer is so good because I've had it already. <laughs> I haven't had it. And so it's delicious. You get a lot of raspberry on the nose. And the first thing that hits your mouth is chocolate. And then it finishes with raspberry again. And for a goza, I got to admit, that's that's pretty dang good. And this one, when it sits for a little while... You get even more of that depth of chocolate in it when it warms up a little bit more. It yep. is very good beer. It is very good beer. Thank Urban you, Artifact. Alex. Mm-hmm. So so thanks, Eric, for turning us on to Urban Artifact, yes. first of all. We I don't know that we ever would have discovered it anyway. And you can thank Vicky for that. She Oh. Uh, thank you, Vicky. Thank you, Vicky. Yes. She knows my jam. Way to take credit or not take credit, Alex. That's that's a good husband. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Yes. But yeah, so those are the beers for the night. Um, what I didn't say about Hot Passport, going, let's go back a little bit, is if you use the promo code Taproom Travelers, you get $5 off if you want to buy one. So that's to the Minnesota, Wisconsin, Arizona, Oregon, mm-hmm. all of those great ones. And we've used ours quite a bit already. Yes. So. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we have. And that's it's just a great excuse to go and travel and drink beer. Don't drink and drive, however, but drink and drive. always have a sober driver. We don't condone drinking and driving. But, yeah, it's it's a great time to, to go around and, and uh, have beers. So, yeah. Anything else? 
that I didn't cover? I don't I feel know. Like Have I you talked a lot. about how great the bus trip was? Or We did. Okay. I promised our viewing audience I wouldn't say anything more about it because I hammered that home quite a bit. Okay, then we won't talk about it. Yeah. It's like we didn't talk about it. Did you talk about Dots Pretzels? Did I talk about Dots Pretzels? <laughs> And they're how, not, your, and how your parents a, got you some again they're not, for your birthday? They're not a sponsor, but it pays to go back home to South Dakota because I got another bag of Dots pretzels. For so, your birthday. For my birthday. So that's our that's our next bag of Dots pretzels, and that'll be gone before you know it. The more beer we drink, the more Dots pretzels we eat. So thanks, Dots pretzels, for being around. You could sponsor us if you want. I mean, just saying. We'd love it, you know, because we have a real... <laughs> South Dakotan. However, I yeah. have I have one, and Dots is from North Dakota. Um, little known fact, I've never been there to North Dakota. <laughs> I spent my entire youth It's in not South the Dakota, Dakota territory? No. No. <laughs> my only issue with Dots is that the label says Pride of Dakota. I don't know what that means. It should mean Pride of North Dakota. Because there's a big difference. You don't want to be... I'm going to finish with this. North Dakota is pretty much like South Dakota's hat. Think about that. Anyway, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel out here on YouTube and show it to a friend and maybe get them to subscribe if you'd be so inclined. And then like us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you really, really, really want to create a Twitter account and you haven't already done that, I guess. But don't don't bother if you haven't. Because we're on there too, but it's kind of a, you know. Yeah, you should go on Twitter a little more. Mm. Boy, isn't that a dumpster fire. <laughs> anyway, from all of us here at Taproom Travelers, we'll definitely have more beer next week to talk about and sample and share with you. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next week. Prost. Prost. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.